H&R Block has signed a sponsorship deal with two top point guards in college basketball. That's University of Iowa's Caitlin Clark and South Carolina's Zia Cook in a new deal investing in female college athletes. Joining us now for this and more is Caitlin Clark, University of Iowa sophomore guard, and Yahoo Finance's own sports reporter Josh Schaefer here with us now as well. Uh, Caitlin, thanks so much for joining us. Tell us about how the sponsorship deal with H&R Block originally came about. Yeah, H&R Block really asked me to be a part of their team, and they're committing to give back $1 million to female college athletics um, and different females across different many, many different sports across the country and really trying to create a level fl- playing field in the NIL world. And, um, you know, males usually get paid more in the NIL world, and this is new. So um, it was an easy yes for me to, to help those inequalities and, um, you know, really create a level playing field for all of us. And Caitlin, you mentioned those inequalities. And one thing we've seen, some new data out from Open Doors today, that gap's actually getting even wider between uh, male compensation and female compensation. I guess, why do you think that is? And how do you think we can sort of address that moving forward? Yeah, I just think there haven't been, we just haven't been given those opportunities. And I'm really happy that H&R Block is such a huge brand and so committed to this and so passionate about it. And, you know, it's something I'm really passionate about as well. Obviously these inequities is something I've kind of lived throughout my college experience and only being in college for two years. And, you know, it's something I can use my voice and my platform to do. So it was an easy yes for me to partner with them. And I'm really thankful. Such a great brand, such a big brand is, is really committed to helping us level the playing field across the board and across the country for all of us, all of us female athletes that play college athletics. And Caitlin, I'm wondering as well, what have you personally witnessed or experienced when it comes to that discrepancy between uh, the kinds of deals and the brands that female athletes have been working with versus your male counterparts? Uh, What have you seen personally? What have some of your teammates seen? Can you describe that experience a little bit more for us? Yeah, obviously, this is something new. And it started in July. And I think obviously seeing a lot of big companies partner with just males, I think is, is the biggest thing. But I think also living the inequities, obviously, last year at the NCAA tournament, um, I'm sure you guys are familiar with the weight room situation and and kind of living that firsthand while we were in San Antonio. I think it's it's something that I'm passionate about and I've, I've experienced firsthand. So, um, you know, I have great knowledge on it. And obviously, H&R Block is passionate about it, too. So uh, when they asked me to kind of be a pioneer in their campaign, it was something I really wanted to be a part of and and really use my voice to take on. Caitlin, yesterday you guys won the Big Ten title. Congratulations. And you're able to put out a shirt now almost hours right after that, right? And kind of benefit from your NIL in that way. What's that process been like? And do you think we're going to see more of that as March goes on and you guys are able to put out merchandise? Do you think that's going to be a, a trend that we see appear this year? Absolutely. Obviously, this is the first year that really that's going to happen because this one didn't take effect until July. And Um, You know, this is an exciting time and one of the busiest time for especially basketball players, but just college athletes in general. So, um, you know, I think using our opportunities to the best of our abilities and, you know, I think it is super cool and getting to see uh, different student athletes do different things with their platforms is the biggest thing and impact their communities in different ways um, has been tremendous. And I think it's created a lot of good in, in our at our universities and across our communities, really. In addition to this uh, sponsorship, this partnership now with H&R Block, you've also had other NIL deals with the grocery chain, High V, and the Vinyl Studio. How do you consider which brands you want to work with and be associated with? Yeah, I think the biggest thing for me is just finding brands that I'm super passionate about and, and that their values align with mine. And I think H&R Block specifically, obviously, um, that them wanting to give back to female college athletes, obviously I am one of those. So uh, it was an easy yes for me. And it just really seemed like their values were really true to who I am. And I think the same goes for the other two that I partnered with. I think, you know, that's just kind of my story and who I am. So staying true to that and, and just preaching kind of what you practice is the biggest thing for me. So, um, H and R block was an easy yes. Caitlin, how much of an added stress and task has NIL been for you thus far? And do you think that that kind of maybe contributes to why we don't see that many deals happening right after games? I think when we first got into this era, people thought every player is going to do a million NIL deals after every game. And it hasn't really been that way. Has it been challenging to just find the time to be able to commit to these brands and do the deals? Yeah, absolutely. I think it is something college athletes have to navigate. 
Um, but you know, I think obviously my partnership with H and R Block, they're very understanding of that and they kind of know what college athletes have to balance and they're here to help us with that. But you know, you do have practice, you do have school, which is basically a full-time job in itself. And then you're adding all this NIL stuff on top of that. It's, it's really a lot of things, different things that you have to balance, but I'm lucky, lucky that I have people around me helping me and that I can lean on, uh, throughout this process, which I'm very thankful for. But like you said, um, we already had a lot on our plate and now this is adding, just more to it. So finding that balance is super important. And Caitlin, I have to ask as well, when you think about the opportunity going forward and how you may continue with these NIL deals, do you think NFTs are going to be in your future? Yeah. I mean, that's certainly a lot of a thing. A lot of people have approached me about, but um, you know, I, I obviously don't have a ton of time to just do everything. So I think finding that balance and, and really talking with, with people and finding out what's best for me is, is a big thing. But, you know, I think that those have been super important and obviously huge in the sports world over the past couple of years. So um, definitely something that a lot of people are interested that I'm interested in. So um, maybe down the road, that, that could be something that, that I dive into, but um, def definitely something cool and, and interesting for sure.